was dealing with a client the other day and he was faced with a dilemma. As we discussed the job that he was in, he said, it pays really well and I'm doing really well. The bottom line is, I asked him, do you like it? Because he showed me all the behavioral traits of someone that wasn't happy. He says, I hate it. And I said, okay, well, you're sitting in front of me here. What is it that's on your mind? He said, well, really what I'd like to do is I'd like to give up what I'm doing, but it does pay really well. And I don't know whether that's irresponsible. And what I'd like to do is to set up my own business. I, I'm really good at it. And I think I could do well on it. Um, I'm in the personal fitness area. And I said, okay, so what stops you? And he said, well, like, I don't know whether I started here or in Ireland or I go travel abroad. And I said, well, what stops you from doing that? And he says, well, see, the, the problem is I'd like to go abroad and uh, I got lots of contacts over there and I've been over there before. Um, but the thing is, my family are here and I don't want to leave my family alone. And I said, what do you mean? He says, well, my parents are here. I said, okay. So you want to start a new business and um, you're not sure that you're happy in the one that you're in and um, you've got contacts in a different country and he says yeah he says but I don't want to let anybody down and I says okay so you're really talking about your parents there and I asked him I said what do you think your parents want for you well they want me to be happy so what would happen if you stayed here and st set up your business here would you be happy he says well not really and do you think your parents would be happy if you weren't happy no, it wouldn't be. And I'm just curious, could you get your parents to go with you? Is that possible? Not at all, no, fair enough. But could you visit your parents more often? What? Could you visit your parents more often? Or could you get them to visit you if you went to a different country? And he said to me, and he looked at me, he says, I never thought about that. One of the beauties of NLP is getting people to open up the world a little bit so they can rethink the problem that they're in. Very often a person thinks in terms of, it's either this or that. In this context here, what we've done as we continue through the session is to begin to open up the map for a person, to begin to let them look at the problem, not as it's this or it's that, but it could be a bit of both. You could actually produce a solution that everybody's happy. Now, we always factor in ecology to make sure whatever decision that you make fits in with the rest of your life as well. If you're interested in this type of process, well, we teach this in NLP. And basically, if you want to learn how to do this with yourself or with clients, well, then the NLP practitioner is something worth exploring. If you're interested in it, we'd love to hear from you.